Some items in the archives give us a glimpse of past attitudes toward equality and civil rights. One example is this 1971 letter from the Chief of Police to the Civil Service Commission explaining why women's roles in the police department should be limited. He said it was, quote, completely inappropriate to consider assigning women to duties which they are neither physically, psychologically, nor emotionally capable of performing, end quote. Among the duties he thought were unsuitable were crowd control, homicide and sexual assault investigations, and management of prisoners. He also claimed it was, quote, fairly obvious, end quote, that they should not hold command positions. He endorsed a separate career ladder for women in the department where they could be promoted to sergeant and lieutenant, but only in areas such as community relations, personnel, and internal investigations. The director of the women's division in the city's Office of Human Resources protested the sex-segregated promotional tracks, saying that advertising certain positions as male only violated the Civil Rights Act and other state and local laws. We can imagine that the chief would have been surprised to learn that 43 years after he wrote this letter insisting that women were unsuited for command positions, the city of Seattle appointed Kathleen O'Toole to be its first female chief of police. To learn more about this and other records in the archives, you can email us at archives at seattle.gov.